Hello everyone, Cup here and welcome back to some more Mechabellum. I went into a match and I was thinking I haven't tried Steel Balls and Overlords in quite some time so I wanted to try it again. However, it didn't quite end up that way because you always need to stay on your toes and kind of react to what your opponent is doing. Let me show you this match. I'm starting as Area Specialist with Crawlers and Steel Balls and my opponent is Speed Specialist with sledgehammers and marksmen so yeah i i saw this start with crawlers and steel balls and area specialist and i was thinking okay this is great i can do steel balls and boats again try it out see how it is so the game plan was kind of to go for steel balls give them mechanical division and add some boats behind some overlords that can dish out damage while the steel balls distract basically. But yeah, let's see how this match goes. I'm adding some arc lights for now, right and left of the tower. I'm expecting my opponent to get crawlers probably, probably behind the tower as well. So they will come in and I need the arc lights to take them out so my steel balls can then take on the sledgehammers and marksmen. And yeah, my opponent did add crawlers, so arc lights really good here. Crawlers coming in, clumping back up together because they go for my crawlers and my arc lights can take them out pretty quickly. Uh, however, my opponent uh, did a smart move and positioned the sledgehammers vertically. So that's really good against steel balls. So Usually the steel balls only lock on to the front target, so they take on one after the other instead of killing them all at the same time. A pretty close round here, we'll come down to the tower timings, and my timing is terrible. <laughs> got the tower, but did not make anything of the tower debuff, and my opponent got the tower debuff and was perfectly in range to kill all my units. And there are already two marksmen that can get level to level 2, so this is really terrible actually. This is already bad against my steel balls. But it's also bad if I decide, or if I want to go through with my plan and go for uh, overlords. So either way, this is pretty terrible right now already. Two level two marksmen. A big problem. I'm deciding to add some storm callers to take on the marksmen in particular. Also help with the uh, with the vertical sledgehammers. Vertical Sledgehammers kind of weak to Stormcallers. And yeah, Stormcallers also pretty good against Marksmen, at least for now. I don't want to go any further into Stormcallers, but two Stormcallers are usually pretty, pretty good. Especially early on. And a lot of units clump up. Uh, my opponent plays the sentry on the right, taking out all my Steel Balls. My Stormcaller is now actually doing some work here. Taking out some Marksmen. And to a degree also Sledgehammers, but not ideal. Uh, by the way, I didn't think about it and I'm not sure if it would have influenced my decision. But my opponent is Speed Specialist, so Stormcallers are definitely less good against Speed Specialist because the move, uh, units move faster and they are more difficult to hit. And now there are also two Sledgehammer packs that can get leveled. Um, I'm picking up the Barrier item. Barrier item is so good. It's... I don't know. I, I undervalued it for the longest time. It is so strong. It is 60,000 health. It is uh, more health than the regular $100 barrier. 
and of course it comes back every turn and if you get it early like right now there's not a ton of damage on the board and the barrier item kind of wins the round for you it's just so strong and obviously you put it on a giant and i decided to go for a vulcan here to quicker trash clear and then my steel balls are supposed to take out the rest so now i'm kind of in vulcan plus steel ball territory here um but yeah you put it on a vulcan and tanks forever uh, vulcan takes out all the small stuff as well it's so good and yeah this is the round for me here Subsidized Mustangs looking decent because they just go so well with Steel Balls. Um, at the same time, not ideal because my opponent already has four packs of Sledgehammers. And Mustangs into Sledgehammers feels kind of awkward, but I'm still going for it. Adding some more Steel Balls though because of the two Sledgehammer packs in the middle. I'm thinking about getting a, another Vulcan on the left, but it's not great right now because of the leveled snipers over there. And I don't have an item for the Vulcan, not like the one on the right with the barrier. And I think it would just die on the left and feed too much XP. And I'm getting some Mustangs still have the <laughs> subsidized mustangs so I should actually get some mustangs too. Uh, I'm not putting them directly behind any of the um, any of these steel balls because my opponent might go for sentries again and I'm not uh, I'm not in a position right now where I can distract the sentries. I put a sentry however on the left and it was so good it hit Sledgehammers and the two level 2 marksmen. So that one sentry kind of won me the left side there. My Steel Bolt's also getting good XP here. Taking out those level 2 Sledgehammers. It's really good for me. Uh, actually, I'm not winning on the left side. Sledgehammer's too good. I think they got mechanical rage. Looks like it, they shoot so fast. But yeah, this is my round regardless. And yeah, they did get mechanical rage. Uh, nuke is a bit early and there's also iron blast could be good but yet again kind of difficult to aim because of the speed specialist and mechanical rage on the sledgehammers as well so they move even faster uh, by the way my opponent got two damage items so the plus 200 percent and the plus 100 percent damage items and put them both on level two sledgehammers so the sledgehammers actually hurt now and yeah i'm trying my luck with the iron <laughs> blast here not fully confident it will hit a lot but i hope it's good enough and I'm getting the mechanical division upgrade on my steel bolts now. Starting with the initial idea or getting it done finally uh, that I wanted to do from the beginning with mechanical division on the steel bolts to distract my opponent's units. And I'm adding some wasps here. Only a couple of marksmen on my opponent's side. 
So I'm thinking Wasps could actually help me win this round here. Trying to place another sentry, but my opponent now has banks to kind of catch all the missiles. And my opponent also went for Iron Blast. My Iron Blast, taking out the shield and taking out some sledgehammers at least. And also took down snipers, I think. And now taking out even more sledgehammers. So my Iron Blast was pretty good. Uh, my opponent's Iron Blast also took out quite a bit, I think, and also took out my uh, Vulcan there. And my opponent decided to put some distraction crawlers, I think, on the left flank. So it pulled away a good chunk of my units, which was distracted for quite a while. And then my opponent's army could get to my tower on the left there. And yeah, wasps are good here, but at the same time, not enough. Distraction flank was really good and also the iron blast to take down my Vulcan. Just too strong. Yeah, I don't have anything to quickly take out the flank crawlers there. I only have my steel balls, so the distraction was really good by my opponent. Picking up haste module. Uh, mainly for the damage, not for the movement speed. I think even just for the damage, it's, it's good. Um, especially on Mustangs. All kinds of damage items are so good on Mustangs. Because leveled mustangs with damage items just can shred everything. And I'm also deciding to put some fangs down to catch uh, potential sentry missiles. And I'm adding two more packs of Mustangs here. Both to deal with the flank crawlers. It's not ideal, it's, they don't take them out super quickly, but it definitely helps. And also it will help with chaff clear after, so the fangs that are coming in as well as the crawlers behind the tower. And if they at some point are alive for long enough, they might also tank some sniper shots. Besides, I still had the subsidized Mustangs, so getting some more down is not a bad idea in my opinion. And I also gave them the range upgrade, so they don't won't die as quickly to sledgehammers because they won't drive in and get clumped up. Uh, left side I'm losing, right side I'm winning. Yeah, right, right side I won. Good timing actually. Um, my opponent got the tower, but the moment they got the tower I took out the final unit on the right side, so no damage could be done. Sledgehammer is kind of scary though. Dealing good damage and there's also a level 3 pack. But I also have level 3 steel balls, so that's okay. Amplifying core here now. Yeah, I'm picking it. Finally, another good item for a giant. And now I'm getting the second Vulcan. I didn't want to get the Vulcan earlier, because without items it dies too quickly. Uh, well, now the opponent's units are leveled even further, so it might not make a real difference, to be honest, on the survivability. And I got the range upgrade on the Vulcans here. Um, I was considering going for fire, so my opponent also added Mustangs with the splash upgrade to take down my chaff to deal with the mechanical division crawlers amongst other things and 
I was considering going for the firebomb upgrade on my Vulcans. I really like the firebomb upgrade. However, yeah, since I have mechanical division, that's kind of uh, anti-synergy and I don't want to burn my own crawlers. So that's why I decided to go for range on Vulcans instead. So they actually take out the opponent's chaff quickly. Added some more storm callers, and my opponent also went for three packs of level two storm callers, trying to take out my giants. I'm assuming quickly. My wards are actually still coming in though. Uh, my opponent's mustangs died pretty quickly because they didn't have range, so they were too far in front, and my Vulcan with range could burn them, I'm pretty sure. So I got through on the right, taking the tower. Working on my Vulcan here. Will it die? It will not. Rip. <laughs> and that is enough damage. GG's. So yeah, uh, no overlords after all, but still went for mechanical division steel balls. I still really like mechanical division steel balls, especially against sledgehammers and marksmen. Um, at some point I used to do that very frequently. It was my go-to counter kind of. So steel balls pretty good against the sledgehammers, even when they are leveled, and the crawlers good at distracting the marksmen as well as the sledgehammers as well. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.